smartphone cameras are about to go a whole lot deeper. Smartphone cameras have become the most widely used camera in the world, so it's not surprising that companies are trying to squeeze more and more technology behind their miniature lenses. From dual camera depth sensing and zoom, to variable aperture, smartphone cameras are continually getting more advanced with each generation. Most recently, with Face ID on the iPhone, these cameras have been built smarter to collect 3D facial mapping data to recognize you albeit using several different components to do so, including a depth sensing component known as a dot projector. This system projects over 30,000 dots onto its subject, in this case a face, in order to map differences in profile and depth of certain facial features, such as the mouth, nose, and eyes. Now of course we all know this has been implemented for a couple years now, since the iPhone X in 2017 but it's a stepping stone to what smartphone camera systems will be able to do in the near future. Augmented reality is becoming increasingly prevalent in our mobile devices, something Google bet on with their failed Google Glass prototypes a while back, somewhat before their time. But now companies like Apple are once again focusing on this technology of modified reality as a major pillar of their mobile ecosystem, introducing additional functionality with each iOS software release. But now, Sony is taking advantage of their recent growth as the largest supplier of smartphone camera sensors, aiming to introduce the next biggest camera technology to hit the smartphone market. Sony's acquisition of the company Soft Kinetic in 2015 has positioned them as the preeminent source of 3D camera sensors for next generation smartphones. And by 3D here, I'm referring to depth sensing technology that can map the profile of people, objects, or entire spaces. Sony's technology does this through the use of a TOF or time of flight system that utilizes laser pulses to map 3D space by measuring the amount of time each pulse takes to return to the sensor. Similar to LiDAR systems that use lasers to detect speed in 2D space while being able to detect further distances than the dot projector currently used on the iPhone's Face ID system. TOF technology is not new by any means having famously been used in Microsoft's Kinect active gaming accessory for their Xbox gaming console. The feat that Sony and Soft Kinetic have been able to achieve here, however, is to shrink this technology into the smallest package yet, which just so happens to match that of a smartphone camera system. Sony has spoken publicly on this technology, most recently in an article with Bloomberg, but recent reports claim that Apple and likely Samsung are in talks with Sony to source these components for their rear camera systems on smartphones, releasing as early as 2020. With Apple's recent push further into AR capabilities in their mobile devices, this seems like an inevitable step forward in realizing integrated augmentation in our everyday world, albeit through a new lens. I'll leave some links in the description if you want to learn more about this technology. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this 3D camera technology making its way into our smartphone devices. And while you're there, feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for future videos coming to this channel every week. Until next time, I'm Sean X Tech. Thanks for watching. If you want to see my last video, click the annotation in the lower left. If you want to see more in the future, and keep up to date with the channel, click the annotation in the bottom right to subscribe. I'm Sean X Tech, and I hope to see you next time.